It's not by chance that roll tops are the most common form of dry bag out there. Let's explore why with the Remote Designs 20 liter roll top dry bag. Woo! starting right off at the top, number one is size adjustability. So even though we're talking about a 20 liter dry bag right here, that is its maximum size. However, once you unclip it and roll it down, it can decrease pretty quickly down into something that more resembles like a 10 liter dry bag or maybe even a five. What that is good for is it eliminates the need to buy a smaller dry bag because this will always be more versatile. It can be big or it can be small and there really isn't that much of a sacrifice if you're rolling it up to the small end because it doesn't weigh that much more. And also playing to that, number two is how compact this thing can get. Once you have completely taken out its contents and let all the air out, you can roll it up and it's easily storable in some sort of a pack that doesn't have waterproof functionality. So whenever you run into that inclement weather that is bound to happen on your trip, you can easily take it out, unroll it, put your perishable items into there, roll it back up and then either put it back in your pack or just carry it by the handle. That is one of the more common uses off the river, even though I mostly use roll top dry bags while on the river. I will always bring one with me when I go on a hike in the mountains because you just never know what that weather is going to look like. And moving quickly on to number three, and this one is actually kind of a big point, but durability. There's no sacrifice in the durability when you look at a roll top dry bag. Typically, you'll find the more premium materials in the higher end offerings that have you know, like backpacks and duffels and whatnot. But this is made with a 420D TPU. And I think once you get your hands on it, you'll feel the difference in its abrasion resistance. Um, it's also very good in extreme temperatures. I mean, you know, don't put it in your oven, but if you take it on a summer trip, it'll perform well. It won't break down and, you know, get all melted. Once you start using TPU in your dry bags, you'll definitely notice the difference over PVC. And PVC is a very common material that's used in a lot of the offerings in big box stores and Amazon. For reference, I have both and I've been using this for the past six months and it is, it kind of still looks new to be quite honest and we put it through the ringer as you guys saw in the montage at the beginning. All right, and with number four, I think this is something that all of us are cognizant about, especially with our hobbies, and that is budget. When you look at roll top dry bags, you get a lot of bang for your buck. It's certainly a fraction of the cost of the more premium offerings, like your backpacks and your duffels. So you can go in, you can pick up three or four or five of these for the same price as something that's more expensive, and it'll still keep your gear dry. And not only will it do that, but this is kind of moving on into part five. Say you do buy a bunch of roll tops, these are very easy to pack into smaller spaces on your kayak. And when it comes to packing a kayak, you want to distribute your weight very evenly. So that's up at the bow, in the middle, in the back. You never want to build it up too high. And sometimes with the bigger dry bags, I've had to put mine on top of the kayak, which kind of throws off your center of gravity versus being able to put your smaller dry bag in. Yeah! So that is honestly one of the bigger benefits to having multiple smaller dry bags versus one huge dry bag. Now for me, as you guys could probably see in my dry bags video, I use an assortment of sizes and they each have their time and their place. But one thing that always comes with me, no matter what, is a roll top dry bag. So guys, if you're looking to change your dry bag lineup for 2021, be sure to check out this brand new 20 liter roll top dry bag by Remote Designs. It has been so clutch for the past six months and it's gonna be in my quiver for a very long time. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another video and for supporting the channel. You know, the backpacks have completely sold out, like there's none left, which is just the coolest thing to me. Every time I see an order come through, it brightens my day. And then especially when I see the pictures of you guys tagging, 
the Remote Designs backpack. It's so cool to see where the backpack has been already. It's, it's truly amazing. Remote Designs is the culmination of what we've built in this community. And I, I'm just so thankful for you guys. So thank you for tuning in to yet another episode. I'll catch you on the next one. See ya.